In this guitar lesson, we're going to explore the E shape bar chord. If you uh, reviewed your chords, the E major open chord looks like, sorry, it looks like this, okay? The fingering and the shape, we're gonna alter this a little bit. Now, uh, I want you to remove your first finger and put your middle finger where it was, where your first finger was. That's what That's on the third string, first fret. Now your ring finger will go to the 5th string, 2nd fret, where your middle finger was. And your pinky will go to the 4th string, will, four, will fret the 4th string inside the 2nd fret. Now, when you do that, you're, gonna, you're still fretting the same notes. Okay, if I strum it, it has the same uh, sound as the E major open chord. See? Just the fingering is different. So now you notice your first finger is free. I want you to put it on top of the nut of the guitar like this, okay? And don't press it hard, just lay it on top gently, okay? And uh, take a look at the shape of your hand now. I want you to memorize the shape, okay? Feel the shape and uh, maintain it, okay? Now let's strum it again. You're still gonna get the E major chord, open chord, but this is like an imaginary bar chord already. This is the shape of a bar chord, okay? So now let's uh, move the shape one fret higher, that's a half step higher, including your first finger, okay? So let's uh, watch closely as I move the sh my hand one fret higher, maintaining the shape. Look, there. So. It's still the shape, but now my first finger is on the first fret. If I strum it, if I if I press it, if I uh, fret everything and do it properly, it's gonna sound that way. Now it's not an E anymore. Listen closely. I'm gonna do an E chord again. I'm gonna move it up one fret. It's not an E anymore. What's one step, one half step higher than E? It's F, okay? Not E sharp yet. For now, it's F. So one half step higher than E or one fret higher than E is an F major. Now, you have an F major bar chord now. So what we just did is use the E shape and move it up the fret as a bar chord. And there you have it. You can use that shape and move it up the fret um, and yeah, you go half step at a time, E, F, you move one fret higher again, that's F sharp, G, G sharp, A. So my first finger now is on the fifth fret. That's an A major chord using the E shape bar chord, okay? It's a little confusing at first, but if you get the concept that you take a shape of the E major, and raise it above, okay, one fret higher or above the fretboard, you still have this E-shaped chord, but of course, when you uh, move up the fret, it's a different chord name now. And yeah, it's higher, it's a higher version of the E. So explore that, go back to the video and try to explore that, okay? Now I have some tips uh, to be able to uh, play a bar chord because when you're a beginner, you tend to do this. Something like that. Okay, that means you're not applying enough pressure for the sounds, for the st strings to resonate. Okay. Uh, you may be fretting the second, the third, and the fourth finger correctly. But most of the time, it's your first finger doing that. So. What, and then you tend to press it even harder until you get that sound correctly, but you already hurt your fingers. So what you do is um, you can practice not on F, not on the first fret. Go up here on the fifth fret and practice that shape like this. Okay. And for your first finger, don't use the the, the palm side of your first finger. Use the, a little bit of the side of your first finger. Tilt it a little bit and you'll find that uh, it's stronger there. Your first finger will be stronger there. And make sure that your thumb is right there. Okay? 
right behind the neck of the guitar. That is like pinching the neck of the guitar. You have more power there. There. So it will take a little time. You know, you're not gonna be able to play it right away. If you if you were able to, congratulations. But the rest of us will not be able to. So you're 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 gonna have to work on it every day. In less than a minute. Just try it a few seconds. Okay. If you're still doing that, press it harder. Apply more pressure, and you'll find that there's just a certain amount of pressure that is uh, required to fret a bar chord. Okay, not really that hard, not too hard that you're gonna hurt your fingers. There, like that. Okay, I can feel my thumb really pressing the the back of the neck of the guitar when I do that. So keep in mind, make sure, feel your fingers, be aware of uh, what you're fretting, be aware of your sensation of your touch. Okay, and yeah, practice every day, even just less than a minute. That will be fine. Just do it every day. And you'll surprise yourself, maybe in a few days or a week, you'll be able to play a bar chord already. Once you get past that, if you're able to play a bar chord, it opens you up with many chords already, different chords. You go up the fret. So this is A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, all major chords. And uh, that way you can play songs already. Faster songs, you know, when you need to uh, switch chords quickly, that's the bar chords are faster. Like that, okay? So keep on practicing and then I'll see you on the next lesson. Good luck!